Jeff Newman joins me now on the phone. Jeff, thank you so much for, for talking with us. I can't imagine how worried you are about your dad. Um, explain what he was doing in North Korea. He went on a trip with another traveling companion, uh, another resident from the retirement home where he lives in Palo Alto, and went through a, a reputable uh, tour company, arranged a private tour. There were uh, the two tourists, uh, my father and another gentleman, and they were accompanied on their nine-day trip with uh, two North Korean guides the entire trip. Do you know why he wanted to, to go to North Korea? Well, a couple things. I think he's, uh, he's a curious cat, and he's had a long-standing and tremendously respectful interest in the Korean culture and the Korean people. And, and like the World War II vets who have had an interest in going back to Normandy, my dad, who was a veteran of the Korean conflict, wanted to go back to the northern part of the peninsula. He'd been uh, to the southern part of the peninsula before, and this was a lifelong dream of his. Well, I love that you said your dad is a curious cat, and at 85 that he's, you know, living out these dreams of traveling around the world. Um, you got word uh, about this. Have you heard anything from the North Koreans about why he, he was taken off this plane, about why they're holding him? We haven't heard anything. We've worked through the State Department from um, the day that he was uh, supposed to depart, initially through the uh, the contact was made by his traveling companion to the U.S. Embassy in Beijing. Um, that started the diplomatic wheels turning, but we've heard nothing. I, I know his traveling companion was allowed to leave, and he's the one who alerted authorities once he landed in Beijing. Uh, I understand that there was some sort of a discussion, I guess, the day before your dad was to leave about, about his service. Do you know anything about that? What I've heard is... is um, from his traveling companion, who wasn't in the meeting, but uh, what we understand is my dad, his one of the two tour guides that was with um, the two tourists the entire time, um, went to a meeting where there were one or two other uh, Korean authorities. Um, the Korean War was discussed and my dad's uh, role in the service, and the meeting concluded. I understand that my dad was a bit bothered, but really didn't uh, go into any detail with his traveling companion. They went to dinner. It was Friday night. Next morning, they got up, checked out of the hotel, went to the airport, got on the plane. Apparently, five minutes before they were uh, ready to depart, um, an authority came on the plane, looked at my dad's, asked to see my dad's passport. Wow. Um, and um, he was asked to uh, leave the plane. Well, Jeff, I, I know you've been trying through the Swedish embassy, uh, which has representation there, obviously, to a, get your dad some medication because he has a heart condition, which obviously you're very concerned about. Uh, he didn't travel with, obviously, enough medication to stay this long. And, and I know you don't know if, they've, if, if the North Koreans have actually even passed on the medication that the Swedes were able to get to him. We're, we're going to continue to follow this, um, and, and we wish you the best and, and your dad the best, and, and we'll continue to talk with you, Jeff. Thank you so much.